we're going to be looking at HTML comments and special character entities. An HTML comment is used to add explanatory notes to the code or to prevent the browser from interpreting specific parts of your code. By design, comments have no effect on the layout of the actual rendered document in the browser. Therefore, comments can only be read when you're in source view. Let's look at how we can create a comment. Here's the page that we've been working on, and I've added a new area that says comments, and it says, here's a sentence that has some hidden information. Can you see it? We're going to add a comment within this paragraph tag. Comments can go anywhere in your code, so they could go inside of an element, or they could go before or after an element. You can't put a comment inside the actual tag, but anywhere else is fair game. So if I want to create a comment, I always start the comment by making the opening angle bracket, an exclamation, and dash dash. And as you can see on the screen, the remaining text turns gray. This is an indication that this text is now commented out. So if we come down to the rendered text in our browser, you can see that after the word information, can you see no longer appears. And that's because I've essentially commented this out. Because I have not closed my comment, this information is going to be considered part of the comment. So I can write my message. And then when I'm done writing whatever comment I want to, I close the comment by writing dash dash, and then I make the closing angle bracket. You can see that this is the comment. And if we look down here in the rendered section of the text, you can see that that information disappears. Now, because my page is getting pretty long, and I'm having to scroll continually down to the bottom of this page to see the new area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a comment to comment out all of the rest of the information that we've added to this page so we can concentrate on the area that we are focused on learning. So I'm coming to the top of my page. I'm going to create the opening comment tag. And you can see at this point, all of my text is commented out. Everything disappears except for this last part. And that's because the HTML has found this closing comment tag. We are going to come to the bottom of the previous section that we had created and make a closing comment tag. So this is closing this comment tag right here. And you can see what happens on my page is now it only displays the section of text that is uncommented. So this is the section that exists outside of the commented text. Comments can be very helpful to help you organize your code. You can identify various areas of your code when you're dealing with long pages. You can definitely break up your code with comments, which will help you to stay organized. They can also be used to add a note or a question for yourself or someone else. The other item that we're going to be talking about is special characters. When you're coding with HTML, you may find yourself needing to make a copyright or trademark symbol or an ampersand or an accented character. So how do you include one of these special characters in your document? To do this, you will use the special character entities. They are actually part of the HTML syntax. They are special codes that represent characters to be used in these exact circumstances. So the example I have here is that if you wanted to display an ampersand, you would write the ampersand symbol then you write the code that is attached to that special character, and then you always terminate a special character entity with a semicolon. A lot of these types of character entities are pretty self-explanatory. So if I came down into my code that we're working on, and let's just make another HR tag, and we'll make another H2 that just says special characters, and let's make a paragraph. Okay, so I would like to make a copyright symbol. Again, I always start the special character with an ampersand. I use the special code, which in this case would be copy, and then I use the semicolon. When you make the special entity in your editor, it usually changes to a different color to identify that this is a special character. You can see up here, I have a copyright symbol. Let's make a couple more symbols. I'm gonna make a trademark symbol. This is going to be ampersand trade semicolon. And you can see it makes the trademark symbol. 
Another common use of special entities is that if you wanted to display any sort of code on your web page, you can't just put an angle bracket. So I can't put this is how you make a comment. As soon as I put the angle bracket and I make the comment, you can see that that information does not get rendered. Or even if I wanted to put an example of a paragraph tag, as soon as I make the paragraph tag, you can see that that disappears. So in order to render these items in the browser, we need to use special entities. So in order to make this angle bracket display in the browser, I would use ampersand LT semicolon for less than, and then to render out this final angle bracket, which is actually rendering okay. It's best practice to actually use the special entities. We'd use ampersand GT for greater than, and then the semicolon. And now you can see that the comment code is rendering out in the browser. That's the only way I could actually make this appear in the browser. In order to figure out what those special entity codes are, I'm providing you with this link to the character entity reference chart. And it has a huge plethora of different sorts of symbols and characters, and it will show you what the special entity code is. So if I wanted to make the registered trademark, for instance, it shows me what it's going to look like, and then it'll give me the code. So for this one, it is ampersand reg semicolon, or we could also make it by using ampersand circle capital R semicolon. And there's some other little snippets of code. These are our Unicode values for this particular entity. We don't really need those in what we're doing right now, but you can see that this includes all of the accented characters. So if you are making some text that was in a, a different language or something like that, you would need to use the special entity characters in order to have this displaying correctly. And this sheet has a wealth of characters that you can use. Hopefully you'll find these things to be useful in certain situations. I definitely encourage you to get used to using comments because they'll really help you to organize your code and just to leave notes for yourself.